When you add some concentrated sulfuric acid to sugar, sucrose, ordinary household sugar in this case, an interesting reaction takes place. At first it seems like nothing is happening, but you will notice that it is yellow on the top, and quite soon you'll see that it starts to get darker and darker, through various shades of brown to black. After a couple of minutes you might start to see a small amount of bubbling on the surface, but there is still nothing very exciting. But then, after about three and a half minutes in this case, the bubbling becomes more intense and you see fumes starting to come off. And then, slowly, a column of porous black solid rises from the surface and out of the top of the beaker. Sugar is a carbohydrate. That means it is basically just hydrated carbon. Carbon combined with water. Sulfuric acid is a powerful dehydrating agent. And so when the acid comes into contact with the sugar, it begins to remove water from the sugar molecules to give water and pure carbon. Sulfuric acid produces a lot of heat in contact with water. So as the reaction proceeds, the water produced heats the acid, producing more water and more heat in an example of what we call positive feedback. The water comes off as steam as the temperature gets higher. In addition, sulfuric acid is a powerful oxidising agent and it oxidises some of the solid carbon to carbon dioxide, itself being reduced to sulphur dioxide and water. 